Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I have successfully downloaded the code for Khan Academy. It's right here. I've also theoretically successfully created a Google App Engine uh, twice, actually. Um, but I can't figure out how to get this Google App Engine application to see the source code or rather to prompt me for the source code. So uh, what I will do is, let's see, open that up. Yeah, so they're identical. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. So let's delete just to get rid of them. Close project and yeah, delete. La 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 la, yes, okay, I don't care. Deleting KA, and now let's delete this one too so that we're not confusing the matter at all. Click OK, and it's done. All right, so now all I have is the SVN, or the trunk rather. It's using, Khan Academy is still using SVN. I don't know why they're not using a distributed control but they're not. Uh, there's been some talk of moving to Mercurial. It still has not happened, but that's not the question at hand right now. The question at hand is how to get Google App Engine and Khan Academy to work with Eclipse. If you know how, please post a video on how to do it, because I am not the only person who is struggling with this. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and create a Google, a new Google App Engine. Click Next. I'll click the uh, 2.5, we'll call this KA again, and interpreter is 2.52, that's all good, Google App Engine directory, it is in, da 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 da, workspace, yes, it's in workspace, Google App Engine, Google App Engine, click OK, done, fast, next, sample app, what's the application ID, I don't no. Now, this is where it gets curious. Well, from which template do you want to create your new Google App project? Well, I don't want to create a new Google App project. I want it to use an existing one. For example, Khan Academy SVN. But um, that's not an option here. And I have to choose one. So I can choose Empty Project. And there it is. So now I have a Google App Engine and I have Source. Now. Um, I can't obviously drag the source right in here. That won't work. It'll complain. Details. Path for project must have only one segment. Fine. So if I use this, and how about I pull an SVN into this source? Maybe that is the trick. Let's go check out projects from SVN. Again, why SVN? I don't know. Distributed control is the way to go for open source because that way people can fork and translate and write new JavaScript or whatever they want to do without having to get permission from on high. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm going to, let's see if I can copy this. I'm going to use this one. And it's going to pull the trunk, pending. We'll give it a couple seconds, fetching children. All of the little children. Okay, and there it's starting its load. And is it going to give me a next or a finish? I don't know. Oh, right. Um, it wants me to choose one, so I'm going to choose that one. Next, getting remote project information. This will take some time. Uh, next, yes. Default workspace, yes, that's fine. Yes, that's okay too. I don't mind. Delete it all. Now, let's see what happens. SVN checkout down here, you can see again SVN. Why not Mercurial at least? Or Git. Need to get with it. All right, it's going to take a while. I'll get back to you when I have more information. I think I might have figured it out. Uh, thanks for watching and happy computing.